thanks for your aspiring and warm welcome. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. So first of all, I would like to pay my high respect to Mr. Lee Bonchai, Deputy Director General of Belgi Group, Belgi Management Team, Honorable Judges, Teachers, all of my beloved friends, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ransri Niet. I study in Level 9, Group 1 from Belgi International School, Campus 16, Plo Gang Wing Sreng. And today, I have a great honor that I can stand here and give a presentation about one valuable topic, which is talking about how to preserve and promote my culture. All the countries in the world have their own beliefs, customs, arts, way of life, and thinking. All of these things are what make each nation become unique and different from one another. For example, like you know that I'm Khmer because of my culture, like how I dress myself right now. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what we call culture. As a young Cambodian citizen, I am really proud and fortunate to live under the grace of my country's culture. From one generation to another generation, our culture has flourished and survived because of we, Cambodian citizens, continue to preserve and promote it, no matter what, of course. We never want to lose our culture, since culture is the heartbeat and the spirit of the nation. So ladies and gentlemen, do you want to preserve and promote my culture? Yeah. With that regard, I have come up with two effective ways to preserve and promote my culture to the world. But to develop a better understanding of the topic, I would like to define two important key terms, preserve and promote. According to Merriam Webster Dictionary, preserve means to keep something in its original state or in good condition, and promote means to develop or increase. First of all, in order to preserve and promote our Khmer culture, we really need to carry out the public awareness activities. Getting people involved in cultural activities will help them to know, understand, I realize the timeless beauty and the value of our Khmer culture. But what are those cultural activities? Interestingly enough, those cultural activities include cultural exhibitions, cultural festivals, national and international cultural conferences, and many other. For instance, like about last month, we were really proud that we can organize one record-breaking event in order to preserve and promote our own chroma or hand-woven scarf in the world. During that event, thousands of Cambodian citizens happily participated, especially helped to break the world record for having the longest chroma or hand-woven scarf in the world. Besides that, we also organized various cultural festivals and ceremonies, such as Angkor Sangkran. Angkor Sangkran, which is annually organized by UYFC, has produced many record-breaking events, such as our Khmer traditional dance, cuisine, tangible and other intangible art pieces. Without all of these public awareness activities, actually we have no chance in order to preserve and promote our Khmer culture to the world. That is the main reason why we should continue to carry out the public awareness activities to ensure that we can pass on our cultural heritage to the next generation. Second, nothing is stronger than a person's willingness, and everything should always start from us. Therefore, building the love for your own culture is another significant way in order to preserve and promote our Khmer culture to the world. When you truly love your culture, you will automatically practice your culture, educate yourself, spread the culture, and even share it to the rest of the world. The love that you have for your own culture is the main reason why your culture is still alive and continue to survive. Look at our country now. We manage it to sign again and people all over the world fall in love with our culture. For example, like I am standing here right now on this stage. And if I win this speaking competition, His Excellency Dr. Lee Cheng will upload my video on social media platforms such as Facebook and YouTube, which also help to promote our Khmer culture to the world. All in all, carrying out the public awareness activities and building up the love for our own culture are the two effective ways in order to preserve and promote our Khmer culture to the world. I strongly and sincerely believe that we, Cambodian citizens, will never forget one Khmer proverb that goes, when the culture extinguishes, the nation will disappear. But when the culture is magnificent, the nation is prosperous. And as a good citizen, the main thing that we have to do is to preserve and respect our Khmer culture no matter what in the rest of our life. And I promise to preserve and promote our culture to the world. 
Thank you.